Hey everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate you how we can able to pull SQL Server data to an Excel sheet and using SQL query. Most of the times what we will do is we will run a SQL query as per our requirement and then after we copy the data and paste it in an Excel sheet and then after we do some formatting things. But we can skip these things we can directly fetch the data from SQL Server to an Excel sheet. Let us see. I have an employees data set. I have an employees data set. This employees uh, joining keep records will keep on increasing. It might be a dynamic data set. So from this dynamic data set for an reporting purpose i need only i require data from particular department let's the training department so what i will do in generally is select the star from data set where department equals to training so I run this query and then after I copy this data and paste it in an excel sheet and do some formatting things and then after I will do some chart or some visualization. So this is a repetitive work. Every week or every day or every month I have to do this task. We can skip this process by fetching the SQL query directly to the excel sheet. So how I can do that thing? One thing is directly click on the data and get data from SQL source. OLDB is a source. Uh, so get data from the SQL server. Get the server name from the SQL server management studio. Click on the connection. You will get the server name. Copy and paste it over here and click OK. So the server get connected now. Now from here we find two databases okay, and the tables also. One way is directly we select this table after loading and transforming we can apply the filters here. So I want to apply filter on the training department. So simply I select the training department and click OK. So now whatever the records from the training department those records will be populated here. And then after close and load. So even whether the records count increased or decreased from the SQL DB those changes will automatically affected in the same excel sheet by just clicking data and refresh all. Even you can write directly the SQL query. So let us see how we can write that the SQL query. So get data, get data from SQL Server database. And now you need to paste the SQL instant and then after click on the advanced options. And now you find here database optional. Okay, so you should mention the database name also now. So I am copying the database name and giving here and then after the SQL statement query copying here and pasted here okay and click OK. So now what happen is uh, automatically the data get featured over here and you no need to check this data and uh, no need to go for any modifications on transform uh, data page. So directly the query will be loaded here and click on load. Okay. So now see here. There are two ways. This is the one way and the, this is directly by SQL query way. In either ways, whether you delete the data or the records, if the records are added in the SQL DB, those changes will automatically affected here. Let us see. Uh, suppose I am uh, deleting few records 
okay delete from uh, this where and okay and years is equals to 15 okay so one record is there i i am not sure how many records under okay only one record is there now i am deleting this record okay one record get affected and now see uh, i am not copying this data and pasting in an excel sheet and uh, doing formatting i am using the same excel sheet whether it is a monthly report daily report or yearly report you no need to make any changes now now see the magic you just need to click on data tab and click on refresh tab and you will came to know the changes see the magic here now 17 records you no need to prepare the reports now you just need to uh, write a proper uh, SQL query and uh, make sure that the connections are connected properly and uh, you will find the query pro uh, connections and properties here okay so once the connections are formed and if you click on the query connections so two connections i have and see here when the last time the data get refreshed those also get uh, you can able to see here and if you double click the data will be populated like this also see so now fetching data from sql server to an excel sheet is very easy and you no need to make a daily reports also and even if, if you prepare a chart based on this thing the chart also get changed dynamically okay, okay. hope this video uh, this video demonstration help you all a lot thank you friends thanks for watching this video uh, please hit like button and